Well, it's the NLCS, and it's on Mad Dog 2001 channel. I'm Dan Stevens with Peter O'Keefe talking about a great matchup here between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Los Angeles Dodgers of Game 5 of the NLCS. Dodgers lead three games to one, and they've been cruising as of late, uh, taking the last two victories here at home and looking to sweep the Cardinals here in Los Angeles to end it here. Well, Johnny Peralta's by me, and Johnny, what do you have? Well, I think what it comes down to is the Cardinals need to win, obviously. If they don't win, this this series is over, and we don't, we're not talking about a Game 6. We're not talking about a Game 7. We're talking about Los Angeles facing the Seattle Mariners in the World Series. Well, Michael Waka will get the start for the Cardinals. Dodgers, I think, are sending out Woods. They were going to send out Zach Grinke, but they decided to hold him off, and they said they could win this without him and have Grinke pitch Game 1 of the World Series. Well, I think I think for the Cardinals, especially with the... Uh, with Michael Walker, uh, keys to the game is he needs to get back to exactly what he was a year ago and exactly what he was this season as being the ace of this staff. And can't have Jekyll and Hyde Michael Walker here tonight because it's all or nothing for the Los Angeles or for the St. Louis Cardinals. Well, as you see, Michael Walker has struggled quite a bit in this postseason. Uh, opponents are hitting 286. You just you just can't do that. Well, the left-hander Fred Jacobs, the rookie, is going to go against this power-hitting Cardinal team, and it's going to be primarily right-handed. Carlos Gonzalez will sit today with the left-hander on the mound, and Ryan Braun is back in the lineup hitting fifth. Uh, his numbers against left-handers will show you the reason why. And I guess a little bit of a change is Emerson has been moved up in the lineup, and he'll be hitting seventh rather than eighth today. And Van Buren will be back in the two-hole like he was yesterday with that first inning double to put the Cardinals up. Well, Fred Jacobs, the 200-pounder, will set to deal, and we'll see the first batter as Danny Santana will step in. And he has had a tremendous NLCS, having a tough time keeping him off base. Well, Jacobs gets the sign, and here's the pitch, and we are underway. And Santana will foul that off. Jacobs taking his time, and here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, and the count's 0-2 to Santana. Santana actually had the game-tying single last night, drove in two to... Give Kelly Jansen his blown save. His first blown save of the series. Here's the windup and the pitch. Manager Mike Matheny said that Jake Arrieta might start game six because Corey Kluber might not be eligible to pitch. And he's dealing with a little arm fatigue as that ball's hit down the line. Well... Arm fatigue, I, what, what is that? It means your arm's tired? Get out there and pitch. It's the postseason. Here's the pitch. And that one's low, and the count is now 2-2. Two and two. Well, for the Cardinals, they need to get going early. Get the runs up on the board and give Waka something to work with. That one's outside, and the count is now full. So Santana goes from 0-2 to a full count, and Marcus Van Buren is on deck. Here's the pitch to Santana. And Santana lifts this into center field. Hayward, under it, makes the catch. One away. Then that'll bring up Marcus Van Buren. Marcus has five hits in this postseason, hitting 357. All or nothing for the Cardinals tonight. That one's in the dirt ball one. Marcus Van Buren has showed a lot of patience at the plate this season. Took over for Rosario, who started the season and then got injured early. Van Buren took over the spot, and then they traded Rosario for Danny Santana. And it looks like things have worked out for the good for both sides. Here's the pitch. 
If you just joined us, the Seattle Mariners have advanced and they are in the World Series. They will either be in Los Angeles or in St. Louis okay. since the National League won the All-Star game. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball lifted into left. This one's hit pretty good. It's going to go off the wall and Van Buren's going to have himself. Oh, he's out of his way to third. The throw, not in time, and Van Buren's going to have himself a triple. A one-out triple by Marcus Van Buren. And the Dodgers really dogged it on that one. As you see Van Buren, he probably could have got in there standing. Well, here's Mike Trout. Trout's also had a pretty good NLCS. But really, no power whatsoever. A lot of singles. And they really want to get Trout hitting the ball over the wall. Here's the pitch. And Trout hits this one into center. Playable. No, it's not. The throw to the plate. Van Buren is out on a single to the plate. Or a single to center field. Well, that's just inexcusable. It's the second time I've actually seen that in my career. I saw Matt Carpenter do that last season where he got thrown out on a play at the plate on a single. So that's just bad base running 101 again. Well, nonetheless, Trout is the runner at first. He'll take off. And he'll steal second pretty easily. So the Cardinals got a runner in scoring position again. And here's Knapp. 2 0 count. And that's in the dirt. Ball three. Ryan Braun is on deck. Has not done a whole lot in this NLCS. Here's the pitch. And Knapp hits this one into right left field. Playable, maybe. It is going deep, and it'll be caught at the wall. With the camera angles we get, we just cannot really tell if the ball is going to leave the stadium or not. But we played uh, a half inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the first. Tied up. Now let's take a look at the lineup for the Dodgers. Brought to you by Near Our Cap. Peterson, Simmons, Puig, Hayward, Gonzalez, Perez, Valbuena, Schoep, and Fred Jacobs. And it's the same, uh, the same lineup from last night. Michael Waka is the starter for the Cardinals. And you can see he needs to get things going here. But his skipper has faith in him. Well, here's Jack Peterson. Michael Walker told me before the game, as we see a first pitch strike, Michael Walker told me before the game that this game is everything for him and the biggest game of, one of the biggest games of his career, never really faced in a position where if he lost the game, they'd be sent home. So the first time he's dealing with this in his career, and he said, well, put the game on my shoulders, and if we win... I'll take some credit. If we lose, I'm the reason why we lost. And we'll see if the team responds to that. But Waka is trying to show leadership. He said if he can't win this game, that maybe he's not really the ace of the staff after all. Well, I mean, I don't know if I necessarily agree with what Waka said, but the fact is he's trying to become a leader and maybe just taking all of the all the heat for your team I don't know if that's necessarily leadership or maybe you're making yourself into a modder uh, I played with uh, Michael obviously and he he was more sale was more of our our leader in the clubhouse Waka was kind of the young kid who was coming up and, you know, it's nice to see Michael Walker decide that he's going to become, you know, the Chris Sale of this team. Well, he's got himself a 2-2 count to Simmons. And here's the pitch. And Simmons will bounce that one foul. He got knocked out of the game pretty early in game one. He only pitched five innings. He struggled a bit and a swing and a miss by Simmons, and there's two gone. As we see, Seattle swept their way to the World Series as they won four straight against Oakland. 
And Seattle's going to the World Series for the first time in their franchise history. Well, that's good for them. It's good to see them exactly where they feel they belong. And they're going to be having a tough one day. They're going to be playing the Dodgers or possibly the Cardinals. Here's the pitch to Pui. And Pui puts it on the ground. Emerson, look at that play as he throws him out. Emerson said he was practicing that before the game, and, it, well, he can do it. And here is Ryan Braun, who is 2 for 15 in the NLCS. He got two at-bats yesterday, and then they were sat down, and Dahman played. Today he'll be in the lineup over Carlos Gonzalez, and he'll take a strike there. Good pitch by Jacobs. And it makes you wonder if uh, if this is maybe the manager being stubborn or putting faith in his guy. Here's the 0-2. And Braun hits this one in the left. And it is gone. That thing's crushed. A solo home run by Ryan Braun. And the Cardinals are on top one to nothing. So Ryan Braun continues to smash left-handed pitching as he shows right there. And the Cardinals are up one nothing. Good piece of hitting there by Ryan to get uh, hit his way out of a slump by hitting one out of the ballpark here. And 418 feet as he just absolutely hammered that pitch. As you saw on the show track, he just unloads. And I want to say that was the first pitch. And he just looks up and it's gone. The left fielder doesn't even move. Well, here's Nolan Arenado. Arenado has had a, a solid postseason overall. Once again, Mike Bethini would like to get him to show a little power, but he didn't show any power all season. There's a ground ball that will not get through the throw, and he's out. Good play there by Simmons. He's a magician out there at short. And the batter is going to be Eric Emerson. Emerson. Had two hits last night, including a big double. Uh, he was pretty excited about it. Here's the pitch. Emerson lifts this one into center field. Playable for Hayward. He'll make the play. Two gone. And now we'll see Alex Dahman. Dahman hitting in the eighth hole, and he's only got one hit in the postseason. But he's in the lineup mostly for his defense here tonight. Matheny said that he likes what he brings to the uh, with his glove and his arm. And a very athletic kid. Here's the pitch. And he, hit, he lifts a fly ball into right. Pui makes the catch. And the side is retired. But the Cardinals do some damage off the solo home run by Ryan Braun, and they lead in Game 5, one nothing. And we're back after the break. Jason Hayward will step in and Waka in his second inning of work. Will pump in a strike, Domin chasing this down. We'll make the catch and there's one gone. Domin playing in left field today. Been playing a lot of shortstop, but played mostly right field this season. Actually, it was right around the All-Star break, they sent Domin down to uh, AAA and told him not to come back up until he learned how to play shortstop. Well, he took a little bit of a setback, had a couple nagging injuries down in AAA, then finally rejoined the club, played shortstop for about 10 games, and then received terrible news where he was going to have to have shoulder surgery. Fly ball in the center, and Trout makes the catch. He was going to have, sh to have shoulder surgery, and it was going to keep him out for possibly the rest of the season. He uh, was able to get back in late September, and now he's back with the club. Here's the pitch to Salvador Perez, and he'll hit that one foul. Here's the pitch. And that one's down low. 
who Salvador Perez has a pretty good eye, and he came up with some pretty big hits last night. Hits that one foul. Well, the Dodgers are carrying two catchers with Salvador Perez and Yasmani Grandal. And he'll swing on and missed, and that will end the inning. So the Dodgers go in order. We go to the third, or bottom of the second. Cardinals lead, one nothing. Well, the Cardinals would like to get this series to go back to St. Louis, and they would need a win to do so. Here's the pitch to Waka. And Waka swung on and missed. Beautiful night for baseball, too, by the way. Here's the pitch. Waka puts it on the ground. Simmons, the magician, throws over to first, and there's one gone. It's tough to hit anything through him. And that'll bring up Danny Santana, the leadoff man. And here's the first pitch. And that one's inside. It's a tough assignment for Joe Woods to really uh, pitch against eight right-handers and a pitcher. And there's a fly ball lifted into right. Pui makes the catch. Two gone. And here comes Marcus Van Buren, who tripled in the first inning and then was thrown out at the plate. Yeah, that happened. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Simmons showing off the arm and Van Buren's out. So the Cardinals go in order. We're going to the bottom of the third. Cardinals lead 1-0. Well, here is Luis Valbuena. He actually had the game-winning hit last night. Driving in Adrian Gonzalez from second base. And he swung over the top of that one. Van Baron gets gives him the sign and Waka throws him in the dirt. One and one the count. Here's the pitch. Waka working extremely fast as he gets Valbuena out on that one as well. Out, way out in front. As you can see, Waka likes to work a certain tempo. His windup is kind of uh, medium pace, but he continues to just continue to throw pitches and not give the batter time to really settle in. And Valbuena follows it back, and the count stays full. The 3-2 pitch to Valbuena. Ground ball, Nap picks it up, steps on first, one away. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope, or Shoop, as his friends like to call him. They call him the Shoopity Doo Dog, and he'll take a nice curveball there. He likes to spend his off seasons eating Big Daddy Mac burgers as he hits a fly ball foul into the seats, and we'll do it again. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And Shoop's down on strikes. Two gone. And here's Fred Jacobs, the pitcher. And the pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Well, things work out actually good for the Cardinals if they somehow do win this series. Michael Walker would pitch game one of the World Series because he's pitching in this game. Here's the pitch. And like Matheny said, he's not quite sure who would pitch game six if there is one. Um, right now, would they be leaning towards Corey Kluber? But there is a possibility Jake they might rush Jake Arrieta back out there. Well, we played three. One nothing St. Louis. And here's Mike Trout. They say this guy can win an MVP even missing 43 games. Here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball into left field, and you're going to need a rocket up your ass to catch this one. It's gone. A solo home run by Mike Trout, and the Cardinals lead 2 to nothing. Wow. 
Well, he, he got all that one, didn't he, Dan? He just laid into that, and he hits his first post, his first home run of this uh, NLCS as he just tattooed that. Just hammered that pitch right over the wall. And the defending MVP does it again. I mean, he lost the MVP this year to, to this guy right here at the plate. And that's Justin Knapp. So he'll step in. Had a sensational year. And he'll hit one into left field. That's playable and caught. And there's one gone. So here's Ryan Braun, who's hit that solo home run, actually, in the second inning. And it, Braun's a little more happy, too. Here's the pitch. That one's in the dirt, and it's 1-0. Here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball in the right field this time. This one is trailing a bit, and this one's gone. So Braun hits his second home run of the day, and the Cardinals lead 3 to nothing. So Jacob's been giving up the big home runs tonight. Well, once again, absolutely slammed that pitch, and uh, these right-handers aren't missing much, are they? What he saw was his, the pitch track is he just hit that first pitch up in the zone and that thing just tailed on out of here. And Braun's got two home runs. Well, here's Nolan Arenado, a guy who doesn't hit a lot of home runs. Hit six during the regular season. And the pitch to Arenado is outside. Well, I think Coach is glad that he decided to play Braun today, huh? There's a fly ball lifted, and that's going to drop for a base hit. So now Arenado's on. Arenado all over that pitch as he just drives that one to left field, and Jacobs doesn't really have much behind anything right now. Well, here's Eric Emerson. He'll step in. Arenado, the runner at first. Here's the pitch. Emerson swung over the top of that changeup. Well, he's just not quite polished at the major league level quite yet. Here's the pitch. Emerson was brought up right around the all-star break, and he hit seven home runs in the span of ten games. Like, he just went on a tear. And then tapered off a bit, and I think he hit nine for the season. So, Emerson does have some raw power. Here's the pitch. Emerson hits that one foul. Just behind that one. Three to nothing our score. A 2-2 two -two count to Emerson. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, and Emerson's down on strikes. Two gone. And that'll bring up Alex Dahman. Dahman 0 for 1 and 1 for 11 for the series. And Dahman hits that one foul. He does have a walk, by the way. Arenado, the runner at first. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, ball 1. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Oof, really bad swing there, Domin. And the count's now 1-2. and two. Wood would like to get out of this inning. Here's the pitch. Well, if you keep calling him Wood, I mean, his name is Jacobs. Yep, Freddie Jacobs. Here's the pitch. And he hits a fly ball into right. Pui under it. Makes the catch and the inning's over. Cardinals tack on two more off home runs by Mike Trout and Ryan Braun. Peterson, Simmons, and Pui when we come back. 
Here's Big Chuck Peterson. He'll step in and he's had a pretty bad series overall. He did hit a home run in game number three, and that gave the Dodgers a two to one lead. Dahman having a little problems with that ball, but he catches that one in foul territory, and Peterson's 0 for two. Fred Jacobs is throwing about 96 miles an hour. And here's Simmons. Here's the pitch. And that one's outside. The 1 0 pitch to Simmons. Fly ball, that's going to drop for a base hit. And that's the first base hit surrendered by Michael Walker in this game. Is so anything different in this start with Walker? Well, yeah, he's finishing his pitches a lot better. Uh, he's got off to a fast start, and when he does that, it makes it a little bit more easier for him. Two gone. And here's Hayward. The pitch. Hayward lifts it in the center. Trout under it. Makes the catch, and the inning's over. So, we played four. We go to the top half of the fifth. Waka, Santana, and Van Buren when we come back. And here is Michael Waka. Having a lot better game in this one, at least through the first four innings. And here's the pitch. And he swung on and missed on that one. Waka is a free swinger. Pretty good bunter, too. The pitch. Swung on and missed again. But he's pretty much an automatic out when he comes up to hit. Takes that one high. 50 pitches on the day for Jacobs. The pitch. That was pitch number 51. And now when you get to this point, do you start to really maybe get someone loose in the pen? You figure you're going to have to pitch to Trout again, and you would like not to let this game fall too out of reach as he hits another one foul. Well, I'm not sure if you maybe warm someone up, but maybe you get someone uh, stretching and tossing a little bit in case this inning does get bad. A pop-up, Perez, under it, makes the catch. Because even if Van Buren, say, works a walk or hits a single, then you got Trout up and could really, like, Mike Trout could could just make this a five-run five, five run game right away. And Santana gets plunked. So Santana will take first. And now Van Buren will hit. Hit by a pitch with Santana. Here's the pitch. Van Buren puts it on the ground. That's going to get through for a base hit. So runners at first and second, and now the batter will be Trout again. Well, now Trout's going to hit with guys on base. And we'll see how the Dodgers pitch him here. I almost think that you might want to go to the bullpen here. Well, they'll keep Jacobs in the game, and he'll face Trout in a three-run game. The pitch. And Trout puts it through for a base hit. Santana rounds third, and he'll go back to third. The bases will stay loaded. Well, there'll be bases loaded for Justin Knapp. As you see the show track there, exit velocity at 115 miles an hour. And he rips that one. And that's going to be it for Jacobs. Now, he didn't last real long. He pitched into the fifth inning, so he pitched four, and he's responsible for all three runners. One away, too. So he pitched uh, four and a third. And here comes Pablo Taylor. Pablo Taylor will face off against Justin Knapp with one out. And he'll take a strike. Good pitch there. 
It's one of those uh, bury it in the ground type pitches. The pitch. Nap. That'll get through for a base hit. The runner will advance to the plate. The throw. Not in time as Van Buren scores and the Cardinals lead 5 to nothing. And here's Ryan Braun. He'll stay in the game. Both his home runs were off left-handed pitching. The pitch. Braun hits the double play ball. One, two, and the inning's over. So Braun continues to struggle against right-handed pitching in the series. But two runs did score off the Justin Knapp single, and it's a 5 to nothing lead. Bottom half of the fifth, and Adrian Gonzalez was set to lead, it off, lead us off. Adrian Gonzalez was <laughs> good last night is an understatement. Ground ball, Santana throws over to first, one gone. And Babe Ruth is retired. Waka only allowing the one hits through so far, pitching into the fifth inning. And it's here Salvador Perez. That one's in their first strike. Michael Waka was the ERA champion last year, or this past season. Second year in a row, actually, that he won the ERA champion. The 0-2. Swung on and foul. Here's the 0-2. There's a ground ball. Knapp scoops that perfectly. Steps on the bag. Two gone. And here is Luis Valbuena. The pitch. In there for a strike. Here's the 0-1. And Waka is just locating that fastball today, and that's what's making him so much more effective than his first two starts. Well, yeah, his start against San Diego wasn't very good, and his start against uh, the Dodgers in Game 1 in St. Louis also wasn't very good. This one, significantly better. Swung on and missed, and Valbuena's down on strikes, and Waka's got five shutout innings. We're going to the top half of the six. Cardinals lead 5 nothing. And here is Nolan Arenado. He's one for two today. Here's the pitch. And Arenado puts it on the ground foul. Here's the pitch. And that one's up high. Well, if the Cardinals were to win... That means they would be playing on Saturday, the pitch. Game time would be relatively 2.30 in the afternoon. Here's the pitch. And that one's outside. And game seven would be on Sunday, about 9 in the morning, the pitch up high and the count is full. Emerson is on deck. The 3-2 pitch. And that one's hit down the line. That should get down for extra bases. Arenado rips it right down the line and he'll have himself a double. Stand up double by uh, Nolan Arenado. And the batter will be Eric Emerson now. Well, here is Emerson. 0 for 2 today. And here's the pitch. And Emerson hits this one down the line. It is gone. A two-run homer by Eric Emerson. And the Cardinals lead 7 to nothing. They break this thing open. Good piece of hitting there by... By Eric Emerson hitting his first career postseason homer. 
and it couldn't have happened at a better time. A two-run homer crushed 455 feet. Well, we'll look at the show track on this one. Exit velocity at 108 miles an hour, and the thing traveled at 27 point three four degrees on the launch angle and a six point nine six point two nine seconds to leave well here is Alex Dahman and he'd like to join the hit parade swung on no just laid off here's the pitch and that ball's hit on the ground. Valbuena throws on to first. One gone. Well, that'll bring up Michael Walker. Now, here's a good question for you, Johnny. You have the lead. You have a seven run lead. You have to get 12 outs. Do you think about pulling Walker from this game early? So you might be able to use him in game seven. No, I, I don't do that. I feel that the Dodgers could possibly come back at any time. And your bullpen needs some rest. And Walker can give it to him. You just had the extra inning game. You had the shorted, shorted start by Arietta, which turned into an extra inning game. You had the short start by Kluber. The short start by Waka. Diamond was the only one who gave you some innings, but they were stressful innings. Well, that'll bring up Danny Santana. Two gone. And here's the pitch. And Santana hits this in the center. That's going to drop for a base hit. And that's going to bring up Marcus Van Buren, who does have the triple. Santana's on base again. Here's the pitch. And that one's a changeup low. The pitch. Santana takes off. And it doesn't matter. The hit and run doesn't work. And we will go to the bottom of the sixth with the Cardinals with a seven run lead. Seven to nothing. Here is Jonathan Scoop. Or Jonathan Shoop. Whatever. The pitch. And that one missed. The second baseman, and here's the pitch. The 2 0. That just missed. <coughs> here's the pitch. And that one just dropped in there. The 3 1 pitch. And he walked the leadoff man. So Shoop reaches. We'll see a pinch hitter. It'll be Asmani uh, Grandal. As he'll come in and pinch hit. Hits a ground ball foul. 7 to nothing is our lead. A swung on and missed there. And Waka's pitched practically brilliantly. Here's the 1 2. Swung on and missed, and Grandal's down on strikes. And that'll bring up Jocks Peterson. The pitch. Good cutter to get in there for a strike. Strike two called. Peterson, who struck out a ton in this series so far. Hits a ground ball. That's going to be a base hit. So Peters, Peterson's on for the second time in the series. As he finds himself standing at first base. A rarity for him. 
Actually, it's the first time in the series he's actually standing at first base. His other hit was a home run. It was the go-ahead homer, actually. Here's Simmons. Ground ball, double play ball. There's one. The back end, not in time. Well, that double play ball was going a little too slow. And had no chance of getting the speedy Simmons down the line. Well, now they'll have to face the dangerous Yasiel Pui. And Pui could make this game interesting again with one swing of the bat. Well, you know, for Michael Walker, he'd just love to get out of this inning unscathed. Here's the pitch. And that one's outside, and he falls behind Pui. Two and one. Strike two call, then a good one. We tips the cap there to uh, Marcus Van Buren. And that one just fouled. The 2 2 pitch. Fly ball, that one will get in the seats. So he's fouled off two really good uh, fastballs there. Here's the pitch. Change up. Waka back to first. He got him. And the inning's over. We paid six full here. We're going to the seventh. Cardinals lead seven nothing. And here comes Ken Wayne. His hill pitch off against Mike Trout, who's three for three in the game. Here's the pitch. And Trout takes that inside. Trout's had a pretty good game so far. The pitch. And he fouls that one. Playable for Gonzalez. Makes the catch. One gone. That'll bring up Justin Knapp. Naps one for three with a single back in the fifth. Juan Nolasco is getting loose in the pen for the Dodgers. Fastball in there for a strike. Here's the pitch. And there's a ball hit on the ground. Fielded by Shoup. Over to first. Two gone. And here comes Braun. Braun's got two home runs, both off of Jacobs. And the pitch. And Braun hits another one deep into right. Pui. This time tracks it down for out number three, and the inning's over. Time to stretch here in Los Angeles. Hayward, Gonzalez, Perez, and we come back. The Cardinals lead 7-0. And here's Jason Hayward. 0 for 2 in the game. Waka pitching into the 7th inning. And that one's hit foul. This may be Waka's last inning of work. That one's hit foul. The 0-2 pitch. Ooh, changeup just missed. Well, Waka's not really a stand -a guy. I think he just pitched barely over 200 innings for the first time in his career, actually. Here's the 1-2. And that one's hit foul. The 1-2. Hit down the line, foul. The 1-2 pitch. Strike three called. Good pitch by Michael Walker there to get Hayward. Well, yeah, he didn't give up on the at-bat, and he just kept pitching to him and finally got him out. It's a time of the game where you stop looking at your pitch count, and you're letting it all loose. After seven innings, you just kind of, as we see, Gonzalez grounds out, and Babe Ruth is 0 for 3 today. 
Here is Salvador Perez, 0 for 2 on the day. The pitch. Inside. I think that might have been a strike, though. Here's the pitch. That one just missed. And the 2-0 pitch. Ground ball. And <laughs> Emerson can't get to it. Oh, well, that's a play. That's a play you gotta make. You gotta get to it. At least get to it. Yep. He lays out for it way too late. And we have a runner at first. Here's Valbuena. So he'll step in and take a strike. He immediately takes a strike. And Waka goes right back after him. Ground ball. This time Emerson can handle it. Throws to first. And the inning is over. We've played seven here in Los Angeles. We go to the top half of the eighth. Cardinals lead 7 nothing. And we'll bring in a new pitcher. The pitcher will be Juan Nolasco. And he'll face off against Nolan Arenado, who's 2 for 3 with a double, a single, and a run scored. And for the Cardinals, they'll get Chris Fountain warm. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Seven to nothing is our score. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. The 2 0. Outside. Cardinals have not had a starter win a game in this series. The pitch. That one's foul back. Well, do you think Walker goes out there to pitch the eighth? No, Dan, I, th I think he's done. I think that he labored a bit in that inning, and you want to get him out of there so he's good to go in his next start. You have to assume that he'll that the Cardinals will play another game with the seven run lead. As you see, he's been very effective. Well, here's Emerson. He hit that big bomb to really put this game out of reach. The pitch. And he hits one foul. Here's the pitch. Emerson puts it on the ground, and that's a great play by Valbuena as he throws him out. Yep, he's out. Two on. And there's a there's a there's Damon. I guess Machado is playing over there at short or Machado. The pitch. Oof. Damon was trying to drop down a bunt. Well, why not? You figure they'll pinch hit with cargo. Swung on and missed by Domin. And the count's 0-2. Here's the pitch. The 1-2. Foul back. And we'll do it again. The one two. That's ball two. Outside. Two and two. Keeps showing bunt, even with two <laughs> two strikes on him. Three that one two. just missed and the count's full. Well if you're the Dodgers, you'd like to get Waka out of this game. Maybe you just walk down and that'll force the manager's hand. Well, that'll bring in Carlos Gonzalez. He does have a pinch hit home run in this postseason, actually. Here's the pitch. And that one's outside for a ball. 8 for 23 in this postseason. Two home runs, six driven in. The pitch. 
That just missed. Gonzalez was not happy that he had to sit. He figured that he should have been the last guy to be sitting. That's off the corner! Off the corner! 3-0. And he walked him. So back-to-back -back walks. And the batter will be Danny Santana, who is one for three with a single. Runners at first and second. And here we go. And he shoots it into the gap, and it's caught. Great play there by Jock Peterson as he makes the play to retire the side. Sensationally. Well, that had extra bases written all over it. Well, in comes Chris Fountain. Cargo will stay out of the game. They want to get that extra at bat by Braun in the next inning. With Cargo probably not getting a second at bat. They will stick with Braun. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed and shoots down on strikes. Good pitch there by Fountain. And here's David Mursardo who had that great play that robbed Emerson of a base hit. They call him Big Handlebars back, back in the clubhouse. Here's the pitch. That one goes foul. Just missed. The one-two pitch. Fair ball. Dahman just stared at it. And we'll see. There probably will not be a play at second. And that's going to be a double. That was just poorly played. Nobody knew if it was fair or foul. They just stared at it. Well, once again, like I said, you can't miss cues on defense. That just can't happen. You've been playing with the same group of guys all season long. You just got to go for it. Someone's got to go for it. 1-0. Here's the 2-0. And Fountain's falling behind Peterson. The 3-0 pitch. Palm ball in there for a strike. The 3-1 pitch. Swung on and missed, and the count's full. Full count. And he walked Peterson. So Peterson does something he rarely does and draws a walk. And here's Simmons. Take him for a strike. Here's the pitch. And there's a fly ball. Van Buren can't get to it. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and Simmons down on strikes. Two gone. And they'll have to pitch to the dangerous Yasiel Pui with guys on base again. The pitch. Ooh, palm ball falls in for another strike. And Fountain looking pretty good overall. All in all. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. The throw to first. Inning over. We have played eight. Cardinals still lead seven to nothing. And we're back after the break. JP Howell will face off against Marcus Van Buren. Mike Trout and Justin Knapp. Sam Freeman gets loose in the pen alongside Kevin Quackenbush. The bullpen's been beat up. Here's the pitch. The 1-0. -oh. 
and Van Baron will hit this one down the line, hooking right into Pui's glove, one gone. And here's Mike Trout. Trout's got three hits on the afternoon. Two off the left-hander. And there's a ground ball. That'll be playable by Machado. As he'll get him out for out number two. And here's Justin Knapp. Tomorrow would be a travel day if the Cardinals can hang on and win. The pitch. And that one's foul back. The 0 1 pitch. Just missed. Good sinker ball. What's good sinking action there? Here's the 1 1. And Knapp hits that down the line foul, and we'll do it again. Fighting that one off. The 1 2 pitch. And that one gets through for a base hit. And now we'll see Braun. Braun is looking like he's going better at bats against the right handers. But against left handers, he's borderline god. Two for two today against left handers. Here's the 0 1. Swung on and missed. Counts now 1 and 2. Here's the 1 2, or the 0 2. Up high. The one-two pitch. And he hits that one right into Simmons' glove and no good. That's going to be a base hit. The throw takes the runner off the bag and the runners will be at first and second. Batter will be Nolan Arenado. Arenado's two for four with a double and a single and a run. Here's the pitch. That one's outside. The 1 0 pitch. Foul back. The pitch. And that one just missed. It seems like the Cardinals want to tack on a little bit more here. At least they're trying. The 2 1. Foul back. And a good at bat here by Nolan Arenado. The pitch. Foul back again. We'll do it again. He's throwing him everything but the kitchen sink at this point. The 17th, bat, uh, 17th pitch of the inning. Foul back again. The 7th pitch of this at bat. The pitch. Inside ball three. Emerson on deck. Full count. Here's the pitch. Inside and the bases will be loaded. The bases will be loaded for Emerson.
and in comes the new pitcher, Heath Hembry. He actually got the win yesterday. And he'll face off against Eric Emerson with the bases loaded in two outs. The pitch. Emerson puts it on the ground. That's going to get through for a base hit. Here comes the run to the plate. And he'll be out. That'll end the inning. But one run does score. Eight to nothing as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Well, here's Jason Hayward. And the pitcher will be Sam Freeman. Freeman's done a good job against the left-handers in the series. He'll get Jason Hayward and Adrian Gonzalez will be his assignment. And then I think Quackenbush will come in and finish it. Strike three called, and Hayward's down on strikes. Here's Gonzalez. Gonzalez has to get used to facing against Sam Freeman and Durant from the left-handers on the Cardinals team. Swung on and missed. And he struck him out. The first two have struck out here. And the batter will be Salvador Perez. And in, and in comes Quackenbush. The pitch. And there for a strike. Well, Mike Matheny said that he's not going to be uh, letting it ride very often anymore. He learned. Foul back again. Here's the 0-2. Swung on and foul back again. The Dodgers are down to their last strike. Fouled again. Here's the sixth pitch at the at-bat. Outside. We'll do it again. Here's pitch number seven. Foul back again. Making Quackenbush work here to get this final out. Just missed. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Foul back again. And this will be the 10th pitch at the at-bat. And he hits a fly ball into right. Dahman makes the catch, and the Cardinals take game five. They make it. Dodgers still lead the series three games to two, but they force a game six on Saturday afternoon. Travel day tomorrow. We'll be back in St. Louis. Well, Michael Walker, I have to say that's going to get in the game ball here today. He was the one. He's the ace of the staff, and he proved it here today to force game six. Well, Zach Grinke will get the call for the Dodgers in that one, and I would assume it'll be either Corey Kluber or Jake Arrieta will be pitching game six. Matheny said he'll give his decision tomorrow. He's going to reevaluate and see how people are feeling. Well, as you see there, Ryan Braun did hit two homers. He's going to get the hitter of the day, but Michael Waka, seven innings pitch, only gave up three hits and struck out seven. And he is the player of the game. Well, as we'll get on the sidelines and we'll see our colleague interviewing Braun. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, Braun. I don't take steroids, I swear. I swear I don't take steroids or juice. Well, from from Mad Dog Studios, I'm Dan Stevens with Johnny Peralta saying we'll see you Saturday on Mad Dog 2001 channel about 2.30 p.m. Goodbye and have a wonderful afternoon.